We look now at number four in our series on themes in the book of John. This one's entitled Witnesses of Christ as the Messiah. And throughout the book of John, you see a lot of that. And in the other Gospels too, people saying, yes, this is the Messiah, the one who was predicted to come. Now, what they really thought about the Messiah, that's another question. You remember, even after spending all those years with Jesus, his disciples, after the resurrection even, come along and say, uh, is this the time when you're going to restore the kingdom to Israel? <laughs> you know, we've been waiting for this messianic figure, a political uh, figure, one who was going to do something amazing, especially in the context of Israel under occupation by the Romans. But <laughs> Jesus, it, it, that's nothing to do with why he's there. He's there not to rescue us from being under the domination of the Romans or anybody else. He's there to give us eternal life way beyond any consideration of the politics of the, of the various situations in the world of his time or even our world today. So, let's look again. We're given material, in, particularly in John chapter 1 and in John chapter 3. So pick up those verses and look carefully at them. In John 1, 19 to 23, John the Baptist is asked if he's the Messiah. He says, no, absolutely not. I am not the Messiah. I am the one who is the voice crying in the wilderness, quoting from Isaiah chapter 40. And then later on in that same chapter, he points to Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And there you see that he is pointing to a figure that is far more than a religio-political leader, somebody who's going to lead an army to fight the Romans or anything like that, whatever people were thinking about in the time. Because you remember when Jesus asked the question, who do you think I am? Who do people say I am? Well, well some say John the Baptist because he had been killed and they thought maybe he was John the Baptist come back to life or maybe Elijah or one of the prophets and so on but no Jesus is more than a prophet he's more than all those kind of ideas of who he is this is talking about Jesus the Messiah the one who was promised and who is truly the son of God the savior the creator of the world as we saw last week you know, uh, there's some good quotes I put in the notes for this time. John the Baptist was supposed to point the way to Christ. He was just the voice, not the Messiah. So everyone's calling has dignity to it, and God seems to know better than we do what is in us that needs to be called forth. Uh, that's a very good comment. The challenge is for us, as we look at all this material, is to say, okay, what does the Messiah mean to me? Uh, there's that quote there from Edwin Robinson. The world is a kind of spiritual kindergarten where millions of bewildered infants are trying to spell God with the wrong blocks. There's something to think about, isn't it? Uh, all these people, all these different voices saying, this is what I think about God, this is what I think think about God that this is the God I don't believe in even how do we get them to look again to take another look at God especially as we present Jesus the Messiah to them this is God anyone who has seen me has what has seen the Father this is the kind of God that we believe in this is what we want to share with those people who are inquiring who want to know what we believe, what we stand for, what we think about the true nature and character of God. I believe that in so many ways, this really is the end time message. This is what we have to share with the world. It's not necessarily about prophetic fulfillment, interesting though that may be. It's not so much even about the 
eschatology or even the last day events important though they need to be considered and so on but it's about who is this God who's coming back who is this Jesus who is this Messiah may God bless you as you answer those questions